It's literally not an option. They have to do it. Have to, as in they must do it. Here to see if I can get a printout of a public records request. Uh, so you can't do a public records request through us. There's a cop right there. Right over there on the other side of those bushes. He's just sitting in the lobby. With a video camera. I get record all the time. <laughs> Well, it's actually called the First Amendment. It's the one that precedes all the others. There's no expectation of privacy in public, so, you know, you got to create your own privacy if you want it. This is what I'm going to do until 5 o'clock. What do you want me to do? You want me to drag him out of the building? Hey everyone, I am free. It's September 5th, 2023. I am in Lacey, Washington, which is also in Thurston County. I am going to be stopping by a few places here to uh, follow some tips and leads and also do a follow-up. So that's what I'm doing in the area. So uh, before I get into any of that information, I'd like to ask you to all please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Make sure you let me know what you think about the story I'm working on and whatnot. Doing a follow-up at a DSHS office I did back uh, several months ago. I'm come and check out and see how they're doing. If uh, someone in the building's concerned, there's a cop right there. Right over there on the other side of those bushes. You wanted, you wanted to go pull him on over here. I, mean, I promise you, you know, nothing's going to happen. Don't, I, don't, I don't see the point of walking around taking pictures of the car. Well, sure, because you don't know what I'm going to do with the information. Yeah. <laughs> that is weird. You're walking One of the magic and all this stuff, and you're all like incognito. Just, I, I, I didn't know what to think. So well, there's, no, ex the there's no expectation of privacy in public, so you know, you got to create your own privacy if you want it. Kind of yeah. like. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if you want to let anybody know, he's right across the way. Okay. Yep. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. I'll be in in just a second. Hello. Here to see if I can get a printout of a public records request. So you can't do a public records request through us. You would need to send it to public disclosure. We don't have anybody in the office that I can pass that along to. I can give you their email address, though. I just want to make sure I get it on, on camera here. So you're saying there's no one that's a government employee that can assist me with a public, public records? Public disclosure, no. You certain? Yes. You got a manager? No. Okay. I'll just wait for one. Okay. Thanks. said she doesn't have one or don't have a public uh, information officer for that. Mm -hmm. 
they have to provide it. It doesn't matter if they don't have someone here, it's on the ATG's website. Every local agency, every district has to provide me with a PRR form. It's not an option, it's a law. It's in RCW 42.56. So it's literally not an option. So until they provide me with a public disclosure officer, I'm gonna stay here until they close. In addition to that, it's a public lobby. I have every right to be here. I can sit here as long as I want. I'm conducting business. This. This. Cool. No, I'm sorry. This is my business. What? What is that? I'm uh, checking to see how they're doing their job in a publicly available lobby. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, they're claiming this isn't one of their public offices. Isn't there another place where you can get that request done? Well, uh, it's every local agency. If you want, I can show you Bob's website so you can look at the Attorney General's website and see where it exactly says that. It's literally not an option. They have to do it. Have to, as in they must do it. So if they're not going to do it, I'm going to wait till close and then once they finally break the laws at 5 o'clock p.m., they can pay the price for that. Uh, any reason why you were reporting the vehicles? Yeah. What was it? Yeah, just man, personal use. Like cataloging employees' vehicles. That's okay. Certainly doesn't meet the statute of voyeurism in case you're looking for that. No, I wasn't looking for that. It's just odd, you know, like that's not typical behavior, right? Like I sure. should do that and I don't know anyone that does that. Sure. Freedom's messy. I guess. Okay. So are we all good here? Well, I'll make a call. We'll see you when we Okay. You want to just call a sergeant down or something? Hey, if you can call one of your bosses or something, I'm going to wait till 5 o'clock. If you guys don't provide what's required by the Attorney General for this state by 5 o'clock, it's just going to be in violation. I can give you an email address where you can do a I need a physical report. copy. That's what the statute says. A That's physical copy of what? A public records request form so that I can physically manually write it and submit it to you personally. So that's just not what we do here. It doesn't like matter. Anyone to get it to is the thing. And You're a public employee according to RCW 4256. As a public employee, if I hand that to you, you have to take it. I'm not going to help you. Just go sit down. All right. Just got that on camera. Just understand the consequences of that, all right? So they're just telling you they're not going to provide you with the PDR you're requesting? Yeah, that's going to suck for them, too, because that's a crime. So but it's not a crime till 5 o'clock. But we'll just wait and see, and if they want to play silly games, there's all sorts of silly prizes. I mean, that's how that game was played and won. So. Yeah, I suppose so. I'll just talk to them real quick. Um, yeah, I'll head on in with you. Yeah. Just all sorts of silly when people think that uh, regular folk can't go onto their own property. Split actually beforehand. She's a, she just said on video she's not going to help me. So that's her own call as a public employee. Uh, what good pro you got? It's a Hero Nine. Uh, I think that's what I, I can't remember having used it for a minute. Yeah, you, you have one. Where are they? Where are they? At eleven now, or are they? Still yeah, they're at eleven. Honestly, I think this. I, I think I'm honestly going to sell this though. Really? Yeah. The problem is the batteries. Yeah, I, you're telling me. The, I like to travel, and I like to. They'll do. You know. Yep. That's exactly just it, man. Right through. Well, it depends on what you're filming. Are you 1080p or are you like... No, I'm at 720 and I'm still burnt. I got four batteries and it's going through it. Like okay. I just, yeah. And I have a buddy who will film 4K. Oh, it will be done in 10 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. But man, is it nice footage. It is nice footage. No lie. I think she's off the phone now. Oh. So, yeah, we don't have anything that's really giving us authority to make him leave at this point.
can't be noticed. Okay? He's just sitting in the lobby. With a video camera. I get recorded all the time. <laughs> Oh. Well, it's actually called the First Amendment. It's the one that precedes all the others. What do you want me to do? You want me to drag him out of the building? Well, no, you can. I don't even know what that form is. You could look it up. That's part of your job as a public employee. The Attorney General's been really clear about this. You know, if you don't want to... Disorderly conduct has elements of that crime that I'm not meeting. So, that's just how that works. Disrupting me. No, I'm not. I'm talking with a public servant. Well, if you want to go sit down until 5, that's totally fine. I'll sit here and film in the lobby and do my thing. Okay. All right. Thanks. Good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, I'd switch off that GoPro 9, by the way. What's ahead? I'd switch off the GoPro 9. It's just your battery life's going to be way better. I bet it will. I did a little short clip and I like piece them all together, so I like. Do you use yeah. Do you use uh, uh, Wondershare, uh, Filmora Wondershare? I use whatever's online. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's a kind of a one time buy that's a little uncomfortable. Is it's called Wondershare. It's Wondershare Filmora X, or sorry, no, it's a. It's 12 or 11. It's not a subscription, it's a one time buy. You can do a one time buy. You can do a one time buy. It's a little pricier, but once you got it, you're good. As long as you're, you don't want to take the major updates, mm -hmm. the minor updates are free forever. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, like, unless you're like some overlord of graphic wizardry yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, same with me. So if you just do regular stuff, dude, just go get uh, Filmora 11 or 12 or whatever it's. I think it's 12 now. Mm -hmm. It's like 120, 125 bucks. So one time? One time? Uh, yeah, I know. It's yeah, like. I you were gonna be like no, 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 no. But if you get that, you're good. And uh, I would just, like like I said, switch off the GoPro 9 because there's a couple of them out there that the batteries last forever and they don't nickel and dime you. GoPro is like, oh, well, we got the charger, but then yeah, there's the, the fast charger and yeah, and all of a sudden $600 later for the mods. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. No. Anyways, I appreciate your professionalism. Thanks. For sure. Take care. Have a good day. Tell you what, to save us both some time, I'll head out now if I can just get your employee ID number or your name or whatever. So when I can. Shannon Angwin, A N G W I N. Okay, and do you have like an employee number? No. Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Have a good day. I'm assuming you guys seem like totally normal, reasonable guys. I don't, I don't think you're, uh, you know, forming some master plan of vengeance against no, me or something no, here. We're about to leave. <laughs> Is it? I'm not actually from the area. Is it normally just this damn nice this time of year? <laughs> no. Oh, really? I just lucked out. Yeah, it was freezing. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty. Well, yesterday was actually really pretty too, though. Yeah. So typically, the, I mean, Western Washington, rain and drear all the way until June. Oh my God! It always changes. So, like so I just lucked out this week. Yeah, honestly, it's been a very cold but dry week. It's yeah. Usually, well, it's, the days are getting longer, but yeah, it's usually just awful. Where are you from, then? Montana? Or I am. Yep. You know yep. how we knew? <laughs> Man, I can't hide anything back from you guys. Like, you guys have any idea what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Expertise in like certain states because you said you're from Montana. So do you yeah. study up on like every state's laws at that? I do. I do. That's, What's yeah. the thought here? Well, I believe is they have a requirement when you have a PDR request to fall through with it. And if not, for every so often, however, I can't remember the time amount, they have to like pay out for that. If I'm not mistaken, right? They do. Something it's to that effect. Hundred dollars a day. Yeah. But do you, outside of that box, do you know what I'm doing? Uh, no, no, so. You ever heard of auditing? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I am. I've been hitting the whole west side of the state. Yeah? Yep. Where did you start? I started in Seattle proper. Oh, okay. uh, I went up to Snohomish a bit. I hit the PUD. Basically, Snohomish was like, I love flying bald eagles. I don't care. I sing the freedom song every day. Hand me a Snickers bar and watch me be free kind of attitude. I was like, that's awesome. Which one's your YouTube channel? Uh, it's I Am Free. It's Inland Auditing Media. Is that the, the, the whole grading thing too then? 
I don't grade yet. I'm only I've I've been collecting uh, material for about two years, okay. and I just released my channel two uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I already got three thousand subscribers though. It's not too bad in two weeks. So yeah, that's pretty quick. Too. Yeah, but what I uh, what I do is I I just go around and actually stress test. I'm not I'm not really looking to Post get get an angry yeah. moment. I'm just looking to see. How does uh, how do, how do public servants work? I'll tell you, because you guys are pretty young. Uh, you guys are pretty young. Well, you're a little older than me. You just can't see what's oh, under hey, here. Hey, uh, that's oh, a lot of a lot of gray. I still think I'm pretty young. I'll give you that. If you ever want to go meet one of actually the coolest police officer in the universe, just drive up to Renton. His name is Sergeant David Skelton. Skelton. He's been on the. Talking to a rank cop yesterday. He's been on the police force for 46 years oh, that, straight that, no way. at Renton. For real. Uh -huh. My first audit was at the, uh, well, actually, my first audit was at the Issaquah post office mm -hmm. two years ago. My right. second was in Renton. The second one was in Renton. And what happened is the first two cops that showed up completely screwed up. They trespassed me off of USPS property. They had no lawful authority to do so. I said, I'll be back with your boss. Went up there. The sergeant was like, I've been doing this since 1978. Let me show you how we did things in 1978. He's like, I'm going to take as long as I need to investigate this. He read all the literature I had for federal statutes, all the case law and everything, went down there, met with them, called to the Postmaster General's office in D.C., said, hey, you know, this citizen is showing me X. It seems to be true. Do you have anything to say? And they're like, he can do that. Came out, revoked the trespass on camera, apologized on behalf of the city of Renton, I called it good. I'm not going to go and flame anybody after that, yeah. right? The whole point is to highlight awesome officers. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing great. Mm -hmm. That Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Skelton down up in Renton, all that kind of stuff. Department of Archaeology at the Capitol. That lady was awesome. I went in there. I was like, I need to do a public records request. She's like, are you filming? I'm like, yeah. She's like, all right. She's like, you want some tea? She got me some tea, sat down. <laughs> She's like, you know, shooting the breeze with me and everything. And I'm like, this is good because... Unfortunately, there's there's people out there that absolutely think every public servant is trash, right? And so this is a perfect opportunity to show the good public servant shining. Mm -hmm. And when you catch the bad ones, you're like, well, you know, there's a turd in a punch bowl. Yeah. You know, that's what happens. Well, I mean, you saw like she was pretty upset. And she was like, I mean, yeah, actually, a little, I'm sure you probably detected it as I did a little, a little snooty with me. Oh yeah. And it's just like, okay, and like because we deal with people. In like the worst of circumstances, all the time. And it's sure. Like, this is you're quietly sitting here, and you, you know you're right. You're not disorderly. You're just like filming <laughs> within your rights. And yeah. I don't know how she can say this isn't a public building. I mean, <laughs> that's what I was. DSHS like, right there. Like, yeah. There's a, public, there's a lobby. There's yeah. A lobby. Yeah. Anyways, well, look. Hey, I really appreciate yeah, your time. Nice talking to you, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it. If you want to check out my channel, you can uh, what was like, it again? like, share, subscribe. <laughs> what was it called again? It's uh, I am free. I it's am free. Inland Auditing Media, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll have this probably up in a month, month and a half. I imagine you got a lot of footage. To I got a sure. ton of footage to go. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I'm here to get a public records request for Thank you very much. Is there also a supervisor, manager, or someone I could speak with? Yeah. Thanks.
the I'm not sure which one is here, but I've sent a message to one of the two that it should be. So it looks like they are both on calls right now, but if you want to have a seat for a couple of minutes. So sure, that's fine. Like right yeah, I'll just go take a poke around anyways as it is. Uh, I was curious from last time I was here back in February to now, um, was there any sort of like public records training or anything like that? Yeah, we were sent the paperwork so we could give the, provide that for people. Gotcha. Okay, so everything's been addressed since then? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Shannon. Shannon. It, Shannon, is that not enough? <laughs> I, I need the whole name and like your title too. Angwin. Angwin. And what was your title again? Customer service. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, supervisor? Uh, three. Three. All right. Thank you. here I've really appreciated your cordiality uh, this time around as opposed to the first time so um, I don't I don't know what full breadth and depth of training occurred or whatever but I do appreciate it I also don't like having the police call on me <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure you can appreciate it. nowadays you don't know actually what you're going to get when police show up it could be anything from a cordial conversation to a knee on your neck for sure but at the same time too we just got done wearing masks for three years so I mean you know I think we're all used to it. So I appreciate the, the, the change of heart and tone and customer service. So thank you for, for doing that. And uh, I think I'll just email in from here. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll let Have a good day, Shannon. <coughs> well, there you go, guys. I don't really think I needed to speak to the manager there. I mean, I don't know what happened, but clearly someone had a talking to. Because her attitude was way, way different than it was the first time. Her whole smug, annoying attitude and response when she was like, I don't care. I'll call the police. They're going to do for me whatever I want. That turned out to not in any way, shape, or form be like that. And I think gave her a wake-up call to how people's liberties, how far people's liberties really go. And uh, she, she was starkly different. Happy? No. <laughs> I don't think she was happy at all, but she at least was doing what I was asking her to do in terms of getting a supervisor. She never created any problems for me, so I think we're good to go there. So we're done here today with uh, DSHS. Let me know what you guys think for a uh, that being a follow-up video. Um, I think the change was affected. That's my takeaway here. Uh, you know, she was helping me. She was doing what she was supposed to be doing. Got me a public records request form, didn't complain. Uh, I don't think I have to sit there and have her be the most jovial individual in the world um, while she's doing it. She just did what she needed to do and that was good. So I think we're good to go here. I got a couple more stops and then uh, that'll be it for me working out in the field for the day. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit all notifications. Comment below. Let me know what you think about what happened. Um, let me know if you think change has been facilitated. Have we done what we need to do to have our public servants at this location be doing what they should? Because uh, I'll keep going back until these agencies change their tune and go about our business the way that they should. So thanks as always. See you at the next location. Bye.